is the most beautiful and most powerful creation of the human spirit. Glorious morning to everyone present here. So let us know the history of numbers. Today we will know where the numbers from 0 to 10 came from, who made it, when made it. We use many times in our whole day. So you have to know the history of numbers in numbers. Because numbers play a big role in our lives. So who made it, where made it, and when made it, we will know the numbers from 0 to 10 came from, and when made it, we will go back to 60,000 years ago. उस जमाने में लोग आपस में बातें करना जानते थे और वह दिन भर जानवरों का शिकार करते थे अपना पेट भरने के लिए मगर उनकी जिंदगी में बहुत बड़ी प्रॉब्लम आई वह खाने के लिए जानवरों का शिकार करते थे मगर वह यह नहीं जानते थे कि हमने कितने प्राणियों का शिकार किया है तो इसलिए उन्हें जरूरत पड़ी नंबर्स की तो उन्होंने शुरुआत किया उंगलियों से गिन मगर एक मनुष्य को दस ही उंगलियाँ होती है तो उसकी वजह से वो इससे ज्यादा नंबर्स काउंट नहीं कर पा रहे थे फिर करीब करीब 100 साल के बाद एक्सचेंज का सिस्टम शुरू हो गया अभी लोग अपने प्राणियों को भी एक्सचेंज कर रहे थे अब मुझे वो चीज दो मैं आपको ये चीज देता हूँ तो इस तरह शुरू हुआ सेलिंग का सिलसिला और अभी मामला था सेलिंग का तो उसकी वजह से उनको एग्जैक्ट नंबर पता होना बहुत जरूरी था तो सबसे पहले तीस नंबर बनाए गए और 30 नंबर को सबसे बड़ा नंबर माना जाता था पर उनके नंबर सिस्टम में बहुत बड़ी प्रॉब्लम थी उसमें 30 अलग अलग प्रकार के सिंबल्स थे और उनके नाम भी बहुत अजीब थे और उन्हें याद करना बहुत मुश्किल था तब माइनस और प्लस का काम शुरू हो गया अगर पांच गायों में से एक गाय निकाल दी जाए तो हमारे पास चार गाय बचेगी ऐसा उनको पता चलना शुरू हो गया फिर इजिप्शियन आए और उनको नंबर्स में काफी इंटरेस्ट था उन्होंने कुछ सिंबल्स बनाए पर उसमें नंबर्स की एग्जैक्ट वैल्यू पता नहीं चलती थी फिर आया मॉडर्न नंबर सिस्टम जिसमें एक से लेकर दस तक ही नंबर्स थे तो इन नंबर्स को उंगलियों पर गिन पाना पॉसिबल था और आज के जमाने में हम इन्हीं नंबर्स का उपयोग करते हैं मॉडर्न नंबर सिस्टम आया था मिडीवियल से मिडीवियल आया था एरोबिक से एरोबिक आया था हिंदू से और हिंदू आया था ब्राह्मी से ब्राह्मणों ने जीरो को नहीं बनाया था जीरो का जन्म भारत में हुआ था तो यह है नंबर्स का इतिहास Now I call Hiral to give information about history and origin of zero. Good morning. It might seem like an obvious piece of any numerical system, but the zero is surprisingly recent development in human history. In fact, this symbol of nothing did not even find its way to Europe until as late as the 12th century. Zero origin most likely date back to the fertile crescent of ancient Mesopotamia used space to denote ancient absence in the number columns as early as 400 years ago. But the first recorded use of zero like symbol dates to sometimes around the 3rd century BC in ancient Babylonians. The Babylonians employed a number system based around a various of 60 and they developed a specific sign to small wages to differentiate between magnitudes in the same way the modern decimal based system used zero to distinguish between tens, hundreds and thousands. A similar type of symbol copied up independently in the American sometimes around AD where they begin using a zero mark in their calendars. This earlier counting system only saw the zero as placeholder, not a number with its own unique value or properties. A full grasp of zero's importance would not arrive until the 7th century AD in India. There the mathematician Brahmagupta and others used dots under numbers to show a zero placeholder, but they also viewed the zero as having a num value called string. Brahma Gupta was also the first to show the subtracting a number from itself results in zero. From India, the zero made its way to China and back to Middle East, where it was taken up by the mathematician around 773. He studied and synthesized Indian mathematics and showed how zero fundamental in the system of formulas in is called algebra today known as algebra. By the 10th century, the zero had extended the algebraic number system in a form of resembling the oval shape we use today. The, 
the aryabhatta the noted indian mathematician and astronomer used zero in decimal system which remains his great contribution to the field of mathematics thank you natural and whole numbers in maths have equal importance suppose if we have to count for a number of objects we start from number 1 2 3 4 and so on but once these objects are all vanished what count it gives is zero there is a further classification of natural numbers natural numbers are the set of positive integers from 1 to infinity that is endless but it doesn't include fractional and decimal numbers they are also known as counting numbers natural numbers are 1 2 3 4 5 5 to infinity that is endless whole numbers whole numbers are also a set of positive integers including zero that is from zero to infinity they also don't include fractional and decimal parts whole numbers are 0 1 2 3 4 5 to infinity that is endless there is strength in numbers but organizing those numbers is one of the great challenges now i would like to call delisha and her friends to perform a skit on number system based on even and odd numbers hi everyone today i am going to tell you a story once a mathematician held a meeting with all the numbers Except zero. The zero was hiding in an unknown place. The mathematician ordered to find zero. After a long search, they finally found zero. The mathematician asked. The zero started crying and said in a broken voice, "I am zero. According to the math, I have no value. It hurts me. It hurts me a lot." The mathematician called one to stand beside zero and asked, "What is the value of this number?" Ten. 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 The mathematician proved if zero is added beside any number. the value will increase the zero understood its value and became very happy now let us these are the numbers in the number system let's know about odd and even numbers hello my name is van my name is van my name is
can be exactly divided by 2 is called as an even number. Even numbers always end up with the last digit as 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. Some examples of even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 and so on. These are even numbers and these numbers can be easily divided by 2. A number which is not divisible by 2 is called an odd number. An odd number always ends in 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. Some examples of an odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 and so on. Odd numbers are these numbers that cannot be divided into two equal parts whereas even numbers are these numbers that can be divided into two equal parts. Properties of odd and even numbers. The sum of two odd numbers is always an even number. For example 2. 5 plus 7 is equals to 12. The sum of two even numbers is always an even number. For example, 2 plus 6 is equals to 8. The sum of one odd number and one even number is always an odd number. For example, 9 plus 4 is equals to 13. Thank you friends. Even odd numbers have various applications in mathematics and other fields. Some of the common applications are binary system. Even and odd numbers are used in binary system where 0 represents an even number and 1 represents an odd number. Number theory. Even and odd numbers are used in number theory to study the properties of integers. For example, every integer can be classified as either even or odd. Geometry. Even and odd numbers are used in geometry to classify shapes and angles. For example, a square has four sides which is an even number while a triangle has three sides which is an odd number. Cryptography. Even and odd numbers are used in cryptography to encrypt and decrypt messages. For example, the RSA algorithm uses even and odd numbers to encrypt and decrypt messages. Statistics. Even and odd numbers are used in statistics to analyze data. For example, data can be divided into even and odd groups of determine the mean, median and mode. Computer science. Even and odd numbers are used in computer science to perform various operations such as sorting algorithms, search algorithm and data structures. Music. Even and odd numbers are used in music to create rhythms and beats. For example, a waltz has three beats per measure which is an odd number. Now we have reached at the end of the program. I would like to thank our beloved principal Dr. C.B. Patil who have always been supportive of our initiatives and encouraged us to strive for excellence. Thank you sir. I would also like to express my heartfelt thanks to all the teachers who have supported and guided us. And at last, I thank the teaching and non-teaching staff, student friends to be a part of the activity. Thank you.